welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today we are doing a day in the life of a working mom you already saw i got up this morning at six i worked out i don't always do that i wasn't i was supposed to be off today and tomorrow but i am working to help them out so i am um I needed to get up and get my workout done because if not, I wouldn't have done it. So um, that is why I got up at six. Like I said, I don't do that every single day, but I do feel better and have like more energy when I do get up and work out first thing. So make the bed, got ready, took a shower. Um, I just like took like a body shower, didn't wash my hair. It's not hair washing day. Um, and I packed up the kids and sent them off to school. So they just got on the bus. I just finished getting ready. And now I'm going to make myself some breakfast, pack myself up. And I don't have to be at work for like 45 minutes, so I'm going to fold a load of laundry too. So we're going to get a ton of stuff done. I'm going to place a grocery order. I'm going to finalize it while I'm at work. Um, we're going to go pick up a BJ's order tonight. Um, I have just some random things on my to-do list, so I figured we would spend the day together. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I figured I'd put like kind of what I eat in the day in this too, just because we're spending the day together. So I'm gonna make myself some egg whites, an English muffin, and I have some green grapes left, but we have zero produce left in the house. We have this, which I think is no good yet. It's too soft. Um, two very ripe bananas, a couple of apples, and the last of some grapes. And I have some carrots in there, and I think that's it so we definitely need to grocery shop i have been grocery shopping every two weeks so this week will be um this is like the end of the second week so i'm gonna pick up a bj's order because we're a bunch we're out of a bunch of random things so i figured i would um do a bj's order and then i'll do like my regular grocery shopping on friday so after i get out of work so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're just going to hang out and spend the day together. If you are new, I hope you consider subscribing and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Alright, I am home from work. We are headed, Leighton's home from school. And Austin. And, uh, well, of course. Austin, say hi. He's watching something. Um, so, they just got home from school. I just got home from work. <clears throat> I work a half day on Wednesdays, so that way, if I work, so that way, um, I'm home to get them on the bus, off the bus. So, we are headed to BJ's and to Shaw's to pick up our grocery order. So I will share that with you guys when we get back. But that was it. I haven't done anything else other than work. It was a super, super busy day. So I, like the day flew by. I can't believe it's already one o'clock. So I will check in with you guys and I'll share our grocery haul when we get back. All right, friends, we are home from grocery shopping. The first thing I did, first thing was put some ice cream away. Then I put on my comfy clothes. I have my slippers on, my fuzzy, warm sweater, sweatshirt, like from, I got this from Pink, uh, the Tourist Secret Pink, I shared it um, a couple videos ago. No, I didn't, actually. I went shopping and I filmed a whole video and I scrapped it, I just, I don't know. It was so much talking, like it was supposed to be like a day in the life, kind of get it all done video, and I just talked like the entire time. So I scrapped the whole video. So you didn't see this, but I got this really cute sweatshirt from Victoria's Secret Pink, um, and it's so soft and like 
so cozy. So I put that on right away and I'm just unloading the rest of the groceries. We went to BJ's, we went to Shaw's, and everything we need, hopefully for the next two weeks. They did not give me the right amount of meat. They were out of one of the meats, so I don't know if we'll have enough chicken to get through the next couple of weeks. So I have a little bit in the freezer, but I don't think enough. So, but let me finish pulling everything out and flip it around and show you what we got. So this little section here is from um, Shaw's. I got two English muffins. I got some ranch dressing, some baking powder. You know what? I am missing a bag of stuff. Please hold. False alarm. I found it. <laughs> I got a small thing of vanilla because we were just about out. I got some of this chocolate ice cream. I got some of these Klondike bars for the kids and for all of us. These are like the best chicken strips ever. I'm obsessed with these. These and the honey barbecue ones. So I got these for myself and Kevin like for salads and just quick meals. Got some chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And this was supposed to be chicken tenders. But I don't know why they gave me two different ones. But um, this is just like regular chicken. Then I got a thing of shout, like a big refillable one because we were almost out. I got some Greek yogurts for Kevin. Got two small things of sour cream, two things of cheddar jack cheese, and I think I already showed these two English muffins, some baking powder, and some ranch dressing. This small amount of stuff right here was $60. Like, that's wild. Wild. Some grocery stores are so much more money than the other stores. So, but over here at BJ's, where I spent like $140 and got all of this much better so we got two of these big greek yogurts for Leighton. she loves yogurt bowls so i got two of those for her for the next couple weeks we needed some hot sauce so i just this is the best place to buy it frank's red hot is the best so i just bought two big ones there big thing of bananas some crinkle cut french fries some distilled white vinegar. I wash all my produce in this and clean with it. My favorite coffee. Some orange juice comes in a two pack. It is like the best price. Then two of these mission flour tortillas. This is a huge pack of these. These are amazing. And then I got the big car balance ones. We use these for sandwiches and stuff. So I like these for that. Big bag of Macintosh apples, four things of egg whites, some brown sugar, some organic grass-fed ground beef. We get our milk local from a farm, but we were running low. Um, I didn't order this week because we had too much, and now we're gonna be running a little bit low. So I just grabbed a gallon of 1% milk just to tide us over. Then we were out of all of these things. So like our chicken that we keep in the freezer for quick meals. Austin's obsessed with this. He eats this like every day when he's home for lunch. This is what he has. He has boneless buffalo. And then I got some of the panko popcorn chicken. These are delicious. Then I got some cucumbers, some strawberries, some green grapes, and some lettuce. And I also grabbed a big thing of 38 rolls of toilet paper just to have on hand. I also needed um, dish soap. I used the seventh generation dish soap and I was just about out of it. So I ordered the dish soap. I ordered um, Swiffer refills and I ordered, what else? Swiffer refills, dish soap and my Clorox wipes. Um, not the wipes, but the like um, toilet wand refills. I ordered both of those from, or all three of those, from Amazon. Because they had the best price and um, nowhere else had everything. It was, it's very odd, like the random stuff the stores are out of. So, I'm going to put all this away. We're going to do a little meal ingredient prep. We're going to wash our strawberries. We're going to wash our grapes. We're going to cut up our lettuce. We're gonna cut up our cucumbers. We're gonna refill our brown sugar, do all the stuff. So we'll get some meal prepping done 
Then I need to work on a video. I need to tidy the house. I also want to clean out the showers. And I got these little things from um, the dollar store, like those little scrubbies. I'm going to put like detergent and like cleaner in them. So the last person in the shower just gives it a quick wipe down and hopefully they'll stay a little bit cleaner. So I want to do that. And then the kids, we're going to make tacos for dinner. So super simple dinner. And then we're going to watch Full House. The kids and I have been watching Full House. So we'll get to this all cleaned up, this kitchen, all these groceries put away. And then we'll do some ingredient prep. And then we'll go from there. A couple hours from Japan, would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while. But I want you close Now I'm just going to take this pack of chicken that I bought, the smaller pack, and I'm going to put it in this crock pot with this thick and chunky salsa and just let that cook. So on to the bathroom. I got these little scrubbies at the dollar store, so I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna fill half with blue Dawn dish detergent and the other half with distilled white vinegar. So we're still gonna like clean the showers, but we're gonna leave these in the showers and in the tub. So the last person can just give it a little wipe down or I can just go in at night and give everything a quick wipe down. So we're gonna try this out and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so they are filled. These things are awesome, they're so cute. So, <laughs> how a scrubby brush could be cute, but um, I filled them with, like I said, half of the Dawn dish soap and half of white vinegar. So we're gonna go put them in the bathroom. They can just hang right there and we're going to scrub out the showers. All right, we have all of our produce done. The showers are cleaned and I am starting dinner. So I just have our apples, that was the last thing to soak. I soak everything in very cold water and some white vinegar. I did the same with the strawberries, the cucumbers, the grapes, and the celery. What, Leighton? Are we done yet? Not yet. Yay! <laughs> They're doing their reading. Um, so I am getting all of that done. The lettuce will go in here. I am just letting it kind of dry out. I just soaked it all whole in the um, heads of lettuce. So I am letting those kind of dry out a little bit and then we are starting on dinner. So just taking some of this ground beef, I put some of this taco sauce in with my ground beef. And then my taco seasoning is a little sneak peek of my spice drawer. I love it. And we have our taco seasoning. Um, I make my own taco seasoning. It's so simple. So if you guys want the recipe, let me know. But that is what's for dinner. I am excited. Dinner is ready. All of our tacos. Do we have crunchy tacos? No, but I have some chips. Yay! <laughs> also went down to get a sponge because uh, magic eraser because he used permanent marker and got it on my table. What about you, Missy? Did you? No. Okay. Not why I did.
We are done for the night. It is six o'clock. I have my computer. I'm gonna go sit downstairs with the kids and we are gonna go watch Full House. We just got HBO Max so we could watch Full House. I'm so excited. I'm like reliving my childhood watching that with the kids. But thank you guys so much for spending the day with us. I'm just going to be editing for the rest of the night and then washing up and going to bed. I've been trying to go to bed by like 10.30, so that's it. And I think I said I was going to share what I ate today, which I kind of did, but I had a ham and cheese roll up for lunch and and I snacked on a ton of veggies and fruits while I was meal prepping all of that food. So I was actually really stuffed after the tacos. So I think I'm probably done for the night, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't considered subscribing or you haven't yet, I hope you consider it. And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. I've been posting like some bunch of fun like reels and all that fun stuff. It's so fun. I love doing them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.